before we do any soldering, we're going to install a machine screw in this hole, which will be the landing spot for our antenna wire, as well as in this hole, which will be the location for any radials that we want to attach in the future if needed. We're going to put these in from the back side of the frame, and there's no need to over torque these. We're just trying to have the frame hold these in place and the screws will self-thread, no problem. To attach our BNC connector, we're going to take uh, another adapter and attach our BNC connector to make it easy to hold on to while we put it through the Artemis frame. So go ahead and take off our pieces. We have our nut, our washer, and the grounding lug. So. Focus on the very tip of this BNC connector. It's going to be hard to see. It's solid. I'm going to rotate it so you can see the opening. Hopefully now you can see the opening just barely. All right, that's what we want up when we install this BNC connector into our frame. And that's because uh, it'll capture the solder that we're going to put in here in just a couple of minutes. Next, we're going to put our washer on then our grounding lug. And we're going to want to orient the grounding lug so it's pointed uh, in this direction where right now I have my grounding wire from my toroid. And then we're gonna put our nut on. All right, finger tighten. This is, I believe, half inch, let's see. Yep, yeah, half inch. And here's where having this additional connector on will help you out. You can hold it while you're torquing. And your ground lug is going to want to ride up as you tighten down. So just push it back down in place where you're going to want it when you go to solder the connector on. Next up, we're going to want to orient our toroid onto our frame. These two holes here are meant to hold the toroid into place with zip ties. So then you want to orient the balance of your wires in such a way that we can get this inch long piece of wire into our BNC connector and solder it, as well as route this wire to our ground and this wire to our feed line. So we're going to start with our BNC connector and kind of approximate where and how we want that wire to go into the BNC connector. Remembering we can always make it shorter, but we're not gonna be able to make it longer. I.e. measure twice, cut once. And just keep manipulating it until you have it into a position that you're happy with before you trim it. All right, I'm gonna trim just a tiny bit off so I can get it closer to where I think I want it. Watch out for flying wire. And it will go into that hole in the BNC connector just a little bit. All right, still too long. Remembering we can cut more off, we can't add. I'm liking that, that is centered on the two holes on the side to accept the zip ties. Now, don't forget, do not forget to strip enamel from your wire before you go to solder it. You can do this with a razor blade, you can do it with a pocket knife. 
I have been in construction a good bit of my life, either full-time or part-time. And so I have gone through a number of Dremel tools and of course I have one with me now. So we're just gonna go ahead and use our Dremel and strip some of the enamel off. Have the tools, why not use them? And again, you can do that with a razor blade, pocket knife, piece of sandpaper, a file. We are ready to solder. I placed my needle nose pliers on the other end of the wire just to hold everything steady when we go to solder here. The screen uh, from my uh, soldering station is phenomenal. The video cam I have on it right now isn't really doing it justice, but it is incredible. So let's go ahead and get this first joint taken care of. You can see how quickly my gun came up to speed. 